Hi guys, welcome to the Stripped Off podcast with me, Gia, and today I'm joined by gorgeous, gorgeous girl, Sean Hamshaw. How are you, Sean? I'm really good, thank you. Good, <laughs> um, good stuff. I'm just going to start by doing a quick introduction. Um, because this is episode one. So if this is the first time that you're coming across me or if you've come across me before, <laughs> pun intended. Um, my name is Gia Clark. I am a internet model slash um, adult content creator slash stripper, hence the podcast name. And this podcast is basically just gonna be a bit of an insight to what happens behind closed doors in the adult industry but also gonna be funny outrageous and you are not ready for these stories so let's get into it Sean hi hi <laughs> how are you today I'm really good I'm so excited oh, good good so what is it that you do so we're in the same industry we've been friends mm-hmm. for a while now we actually yeah. had our friend anniversary of a date friendiversary. came up on um I know. Facebook. years this yeah li- years years ago we went on a night out <laughs> yeah we went on a night out in Manchester we had a good night and then yeah. I think it, you wasn't doing this at that time was you I, no you- so I didn't do only, I'd just come out of Big Brother at that point and I'd not started an OnlyFans <laughs> or anything like that I was just being good <laughs> <laughs> yeah just doing the usual insta stuff like yeah. it was really really obviously PG and whatever I, would, I didn't know what I was doing at that point I was just <laughs> just living my best life but yeah I didn't start my content till about a year after that yeah okay so um, yeah what made you like make the transition from vanilla to spice <laughs> <laughs> so I before I went in Big Brother I got offered I did like bits of mod- modeling and stuff and yeah. someone basically came to me and were like um, will you come here and we'll pay you to smoke cigarettes? Okay. And I already smoke, so it were a no-brainer. But like, nothing sexual, yeah. just, just... Nothing sexual, okay. fully clothed. Oh, winner then, outside stunning. Outside with a coat on, and then I said I'd w- I would be comfortable, obviously, like, underwear and stuff like that. I'm absolutely fine with that, always mm. have been. So they were like, well, yeah. <laughs> 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 smoke loads of cigs, and I was getting paid to go down for a day. I did that, like, two, three times, and that's before Big Brother. So when I went in and then came back out Big Brother, when I went in there, people actually took piss out of me constantly <laughs> because they said all I did was smoke so pitching <laughs> smoke for me <laughs> like it worked really well for me but they were just like everyone took piss out of me you smoke too much all she does is sit and smoke so I was just the boringest person have ever because I'm just not dramatic just don't get boring involved. I don't get involved in shit I ain't got time for drama so yeah I just sit outside and smoke so when I came out I was I had a lot of messages and a lot of these messages were basically saying, can I please buy these videos of you smoking? Please do me a video of you smoking. <laughs> like other stuff, feet stuff, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't really get into it. Like when I started my OnlyFans, I actually, I'm outing myself here, but <laughs> I actually went on OnlyFans and only put what I put on Instagram and my first month, I made up like over six grand and it was just my Instagram posts. Oh my God. But everybody was saying, just do it. Like people are going to be nosy. They're going to pay anyway. Like, And yeah. then obviously I felt a bit tight. So I actually thought, God, wow, this is more more than what I've made in any job. So yeah. I just rolled with it and I started get, doing collabs with other girls and we'd do like little fetish scenes or we do certain things and it's like... I don't get my money out. It's not sexual. It's not, well, it is sexual, but it's not porn. Yeah. Um, so I never crossed the boundaries that I've set for myself. Yeah. And then the more I've got into it, um, because I'm not doing porn and stuff like that, my my niche is fetish and smoking, like smoking cigs and feet and stuff like that. And people pay more for that. Like people literally pay for me to keep my clothes on or wear <laughs> certain clothes. So, I mean, if I had to choose, then I'm so glad I went down this route and it's yeah. just worked out really well for me. But I'm not just on one website, I'm on three. So I've got like an OnlyFans, I've got a fan view and then I have, the, which are kind of the same, um, but my main one is unfiltered. So Yeah, I've that's seen where unfiltered I before because um, I was I was speaking to the girl, Stepanka, mm-hmm. she's really nice. She's, oh my God, this girl, if you don't already follow her, she is the owner of Unfiltered and she is, I love watching her Instagram because she's, she's so, so funny. funny. She 
um, she's also known as a fart jar girl. So this girl will literally fart into jars, but she <laughs> yeah. kills it selling these fart jars. Like I think she, she makes like she 70 does? K a week. To, like, I haven't seen what she does, no. but how does she do it? How does so she fart in the she, jar? She, she has little petals, right? <laughs> uh, she has petals and she'll fart on a the petal, these fake, <laughs> like a fabric petal. She no She farts on way. the petal and puts it in the jar really quick so it holds the stuff. <laughs> But she's made so much money doing this, she and then kills it, don't she? She's just invested that into making her own content website, and that's the one that I use the most. It's the best. Like it's got, it's like an Instagram, so you can go on and follow for free, like you would on Instagram anyway. Yeah. But then the actual little squares that you click on, you can there'll be a preview, and then you can buy whatever that preview's kind of previewing yeah um, that's really good and then you can buy it separately or you can subscribe and see it all so it's it's a re- it's a really good like it's good how they've set it out and she's just hilarious and yeah the, all the different things that people do on there there's just some, some it's very crazy. weird like it fetishes niches like i was gonna ask are they more everything. like so more lenient than only fans because like obviously <clears throat> on only fans there's so many rules like only fans I don't know if it, it, I know because there's a different owner now, I don't know if it's a little bit more lenient, but I remember like the rules used to be like, no food play, no, squirting's not even allowed in OnlyFans, well no, so people have the like piss fetish, like I do piss fetish, like I I don't do the other fetish, but I do, I do (laughs) do the the number one one fetish, (laughs) but like when I sell that on OnlyFans, I can't sell it as that because it's against their terms, I have to sell it as square it, no you don't sell it on other fans <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get you banned yeah so yeah i don't but, yeah but, you know, <laughs> anyway um but yeah they so they're quite open like it's called unfiltered for a reason like they yeah. have, you, it's 420 friendly and oh, that's stuff like good. that because smoking's um, not allowed on only fans is it no, either like smoking's, smoking's banned allowed. <laughs> Which? so yeah it, it, they they allow smoking they allow they allow the sex industry to be a sex industry yeah basically and that's good because a lot of guys like do the ones that have like these fetishes that are maybe like not as normalized because yeah. obviously everyone's in whatever you like i feel like we're desensitized right now so for us like the things that we consider normal are probably like to other people like they've never heard of that mm. like what would you say is the most like out there thing that someone's asked you about so like so not obviously like i don't know just something that you thought this is like I've never heard of this before. <laughs> so, uh, what I've not heard before. Yeah, do you know? Because obviously, some sometimes they come and they ask for something, but then <laughs> like you find, yeah, I've literally come, um, and you find like the the a lot of other of them have what the I same was thing. To, like that, I get quite a lot of, but I don't know how. I don't know what it's what the term is for it, but when they want to pretend they're little people. Oh my god, the giant dress one! Yeah, I've had this one. as well. So <laughs> basically, people have a fetish where they want to be like a mini little human and be like squashed <laughs> or you like in your pocket. Yeah, or, like it's so like and I it's find common, I find isn't it, it, this? it's very common, and I find it so interesting. Like I remember someone. I think someone made a picture, took one of my Instagram pictures and then <laughs> shrank their self and like put, oh, <laughs> put the mic drop, um, put the self like on me and they were like, oh no, <laughs> you're so big. And I was like, I was like, oh, it, I like, I don't mind, I don't mind it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It, something like but that is like, that, it's, I feel like some people will have not heard of that one. Um, obviously this is your usual, your stockings, your feet, your mm. latex, like people like certain outfits, silk, lace, like literally just wearing these certain things some people get off on or like certain role plays, mm. college girl, mm. you know, not school, college girl, <laughs> um, and all them kind of things. I feel like they're quite normalised. Everyone's really heard of it, but stuff like that, like little people and like, but a lot of people said to me like what what people pay you to smoke and i'm like yeah yeah and smoking's one of the yeah. biggest ones like yeah, that's smoking's real big and that's what like a lot of people get surprised that it's not allowed on only fans because mm. of how like big it is in in that industry yeah and it's not even like that se- it's not sexual like you yeah, can go something to that you do it anyway like if like, you're if you already smoke then why not like yeah, get it could, girl get that bag yeah, you can literally <laughs> walk outside and see a girl smoking on the street i but know it's but people i think it's still paying yeah and th- with like the little people thing i had this not long ago so i thought like it had I'd never really heard of it. I like I was really curious because I'd, I'd never heard of it before. So I googled it, yeah. um, and realized that like, it is actually. And I looked on Twitter, 
and I've, somebody must have like tweeted me with like they had this fetish and I went on their Twitter and obviously seen their whole thing was like ret- re- retweeting all these other accounts that are yeah. dedicated to this giant trust fetish and like so I like saw loads of stuff about it and it's just like but I've, like I mean if that floats your boat like whatever gets you off gets you off like yeah. I don't mind like it but I just think like I find that one quite cute I actually that, I, <laughs> to yeah, you yeah, it's like oh like, like you just want to be squashed like by it. a giant <laughs> trust I love it but so, like some of them I think like do you, like I was gonna ask like what makes you draw the line like what is one mm. thing that like they ask you say I'm not doing that so like I get a lot of requests obviously for the pawn and it's just like I make it very clear that that's not what you're gonna get yeah but the worst fetish like request I've had is feces mm. like what not gonna happen don't yeah no I'd but, draw the line there but so obviously didn't do it but yeah just not for me I can't think of like I get a lot of different requests but that's one where I was like oh do you know what I mean no (laughs) yeah I know but like I know that that is like a huge thing as well and like other websites and like the like adult diaper things as well it's just I mean you do you it's each their own like but it's personally personally, yeah I did not want to eat my own shit yeah no, <laughs> so I'm, some of them are really weird I as well they're like <laughs> they're like shit in a they want you to like shit in a cup and then like do something with the cup like some oh, they ask you to do like so like obviously like i'm not shaming these people like if that's your fetish fair enough but like just i'm trying to oh my god another, we, we just don't do that yeah no we don't <laughs> do to that. someone that does that's so, very easy one of the ones that I did recently, well, I, I actually haven't done it yet, but I've got all the stuff ready for it. But it, I know that this is quite a big fetish and I never realised, like, how big this was. So, you know, um, Willy Wonka? Yeah. You know, what's the girl's name? Violet. Yeah, when she's right. blue. Yeah. So, you know, that is such no a, a big fetish. Well, and like I, an avatar. No one's yeah. asked me for that. Someone asked me for it's that. Da- yeah, it's I want real. It. I've been asked you for that. it. No. I've been asked for it about four times. <gasps> and I, I asked some, like, I another friend. That in this industry it was like yeah like that's that's I a big thing i will do that with you google yeah we'll do it together we'll, 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 literally so no one's even asked but i'll do it <laughs> you oh, well, there'll, there'll definitely be people on your thing will want it i would imagine but oh this i just got a blue sumo suit from amazon and i'm just gonna paint my face blue and be like oh my god this this blueberry i'm <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna do this for myself we should do it because like the more i looked into it like it's it's a common fetish and i was like really it is and like like if that's what you like and i love willy wonka yeah (laughs) there you go two birds with one stuff let me replay the own little willy wonka that's so good what about i'm sure you've had some i was just gonna say like i've i have had one that's kind of similar but i was gonna ask you have you ever done anything that's like so you like with the role plays and stuff so you get the obvious role play that's like stepmom whatever but like sometimes like they ask you to be a bit different things like i think sometimes they want you to be like maybe if a guy like really has a crush on his neighbor they'll be like can you pretend to be my next door neighbor Michelle and like just like do you know what I mean that like, is quite specific yeah so like have you ever done anything like that like to do with so I've had people send me the full script like a what full, for you to read I've had to remember <laughs> a full script and place my phone like as if it's them sat there and I'm yeah, like a POV and have a full conversation and I've had to be just mad at them and I'm just like I can't believe you've done this no 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 and uh, like stuff like that, but they give me name like I uh, they'll change my name. I have to be like, do you know, like make out I'm this totally different person. It's weird because you're paying for me and you're yeah. asking me to be someone else. Um, but yeah, they'll like give me a full role to take on. Like yeah. I've had a few different ones where they're like, right, okay, so you're this girl called this. This is what's <laughs> happened. This is what you have to say. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's do this. I've got Why not? I've upped my acting skills since. Oh, I think you, I didn't realize how much oh of an actor gosh. you needed to be I know, to be an I actor. I thought I'll be fine. No one's caring about. But like, you just have to fit the storylines and stuff. I oh. used to hate acting. I used to hate oh to do with like performing kind of thing. Yeah, I just I found it really cringy but I've just I've gone into it now and it's like it's just like the norm but yeah and you get used to it the armpit one before oh I yeah the armpit one I thought that was (laughs) another one that I I, I think but I thought that again was like something that like not many people would have a Mm -hmm. an armpit fetish but then obviously like 
a lot of people have, like I first got asked for it maybe like two, three years ago. And like some guys just used to comment on my Instagram stories being like, show your armpit. So at first I'm like, on my story. And then I realized he was wanking over it. I was like, you ain't getting free wanks out of me. Yeah. <laughs> he kept asking, but then other accounts would like say things about it. And I'd be like, is this armpit yeah. fetish like a real thing? And when I Googled it, it is again, yeah. I think, I don't know if they want to stick the Just dick in my armpit or if they want to smell my armpit, but like armpits yeah. are a fetish. I think anything with a scent. Yeah, definitely. Or, or a like texture, like some people have like, like there's cum fetish, like CEI. If you don't know what CEI is, um, do you know what, you obviously what know. What is C E I. What? CEI. <laughs> what, do, what do you think CEI stands I don't for? Know. Oh, don't put me on spot. Have a guess. Do you just guess? If I said, Go I'm going to do some it. CEI. So CEI is come eating instructions. So you Go know, what? come eating instructions. So I've oh, got like, subscribe. yeah, mm. like slaves that are like, be like, right, this morning you need to come on your slice of toast before you eat it. And they'll do it because like that, they like eating their own cum. That's their fetish, which is what that's another thing that's come become so normalized because I, I get a lot of yeah. guys who have this fetish. So, like, yeah. it's like it's you doing it if you want to do it. Yeah, if, if you want to eat your own cum on toast, toast, then do you know, yeah. like, go, yeah. Who needs mayo? <laughs> get that protein in <laughs> to start the day. Fucking <laughs> all you can eat brunch. <laughs> yeah, but oh, another one that I had that was like, um, like a role play. So, do you know the film The Mask? Is it Jim Carrey who's in that yeah. film? Okay, I had this guy, and he subscribed on OnlyFans. Like, he's not subscribed to me anymore, but his 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 username was The Mask, and his picture was the Green Mask. Right. So this guy slides in the DMs. He's like, um, "Hey, how's it going with the gif of him? Like, yeah, <laughs> of the mask. I'm like, oh, hey. So I'm like, this guy obviously really likes the mask." So, hey, um, yo, I was going, he's like, can you do this? And it's a scene out of that with Cameron Diaz, and she's like yeah. doing this sexy dance. She's he's, so hot in the dress. She's stunning. Yeah, well, that's what he like, sent me that, <laughs> he sent me that scene, and he's like, like Yay. Can, you do, can you do this? So I would say, like, as like specific things go, that's probably one of the most like specific requests I've ever had to do a scene. Like, this guy obviously really, really enjoys that film. Mm. Um, Me too. So I, I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen that film, but I've obviously now seen that scene. I love <laughs> the mask. Absolutely, I used to be obsessed oh, with Jim Carrey. So obsessed to that extent. <laughs> well, I might know that scene off by heart. <laughs> Maybe it was you. <laughs> Maybe it was me. Um, I'm just gonna look what else I asked you because I forgot last time. <laughs> um, so have you got any stories since you've been in the industry that have stood out for you the most? Like what? Anything that's like you thought. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So out. basically, on my unfiltered, um, I when I first went on it, I was like, right, I need to go in with a bang. Like, mm. I need to mech, like mech with it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm course. coming. Uh, but um, what I did was like, it was a lot of hard work, a lot of good timing, and building up the hype before I did it. Yeah. But as soon as I started on the website, I basically set my center target for two weeks. Yeah. Like, how much I could make like mm. I was on 24 7 I was answering straight away like I had free phones and I was just like <laughs> like on a all at the same time um I did I, I hyped it up to everybody that I know as my smoky fans all my big spenders all my regulars mm. and then to, I got I posted in forums YouTube videos everything like I got loads of new people and it were like more of a coming soon kind of thing yeah um and it will follow for free at this point. So, like, I got a lot of people on there at one point. And then what I would do is I'd do, like, at least five lives per day. So, it was live smoking. Every single person bought a ticket to watch. Mm. And then I would then record. I'd be doing the live. And then I'd be recording it on another phone. So, I got the ticketed money. And then the recording would get sent out afterwards. So, some that bought the ticket would buy it again because they want to rewatch it. No and way. then some people that obviously missed it would then buy it. And then whilst I was smoking the live, I was saving all the cigarettes. Yeah. When I'd finished. 
And I'd be like, right, who wants to buy this one? Well, they were and buying then the I'd, actual cigarette box. Yeah, so when oh I was finished with the cigarette, not I'm not selling nicotine, I'm selling the butt <laughs> <laughs> so I don't get done. Um, but yeah, as soon as I was finished with the cig, I was saying like, I had li- my lipstick on certain ones so they could see that it definitely that one. Mm. And I'd play a small tattoo, I'd be like, right, this one, this one. And then I auctioned off the cigarette box. And like the high, I think the highest one went for like seven, around about seven grand. It's a, you sold a cigarette butt for seven grand. Mm, oh my God, that I is mental. So I did this like every single day for yeah. just over two weeks, like oh 15 days or something. And then because obviously you don't know how it is like on these websites, you get payments in little bits. Yeah. So you don't really realise and then it goes into processing and then it takes like so many days to go into your actual account. Mm. So when I looked back and I was like, right, 15 days what the actual fuck and I made like 150 grand in just over two weeks that is insane but I was doing it every day five times a day constantly messaging on top of that I was adding other content all my other content what I'd been doing for three years so they had so much to buy so then people were buying it all wow yeah so when I added it all together it it yeah that is crazy when it's like yeah. it, <laughs> then I bought a house <laughs> well done and you've also been splashing out recently haven't you Shar? yeah you so it's back on your wrist I just come from the <laughs> you just come from <laughs> straight shop. from the roller yeah, shop yeah just it's gorgeous just bought watch. my first Rolex oh, it's so it's so get it girl it's got like a little patterned black face anyway <laughs> I'm so happy I keep <laughs> what time is like, it what time um, is it my first one but do you know what I'm actually really really tight with my money like I hate spending money on clothes or whatever so when people are like oh you should invest your money I have like they don't really lose like Rolexes don't really lose value I bought my house so that's an investment like I'm really big I'm really good with my money I always have been like I've never been in debt or all like that so like if I want to buy myself a little something that sparkles like let let me live let a girl live (laughs) do you know what I mean but yeah I'm just tight so anyway I'm still driving like a shitty car my car's my my watch costs more than my car so if anyone wants to buy a a new whip (laughs) yeah if anyone wants to buy me a car they'll feel because it does happen as well like see Mm. someone asked me like what is the maddest the maddest thing that I've been bought mine's probably somebody paid like five grand for me to have my tits done and so some like my first ever boob job and this was I weren't even doing this at this time I basically there used to be this thing that was like it was a stripping no, I, I weren't doing anything. I was just, I basically, this is kind of how I got into this industry. Oh. I was doing, I was on this website. I, it doesn't exist anymore. It was called myfreeimplants.com. Basically, <gasps> I <laughs> yeah, heard of that. Oh my God. I just Fucking thought it was a load of shit. Mind. But I was at uni and I was like, mm. I really wanted just like tits basically. So I was like, right, what can I do to get these tits? So I just Googled free boob job. And it was like, interact with guys today for fund your boob banks I was like oh what's this clicked on it joined it and then it was kind of like only fans before only fans so yeah. like the same kind of thing and you get boobs instead of yeah money. so instead of the money going into your account it goes into like your boob it's bank account. yeah that yeah. you can't touch until it's all got like all of it's there which was yeah. of, like at the time I was only like 19 so that was amazing because if not I would have just took it all out yeah. but then like one, I remember just one day going on it and like it hit the target and I was like and, Titties. well <laughs> mum's getting some new puppies and then after that i just thought i might as well put them to good use so Aww, but yeah have you fun. ever been bought anything like crazy like anything that you've just thought that, it, I, that what makes it crazier for me is that like these people you've never like met in real life as well mm-hmm. and then willing to like drop an amount like that like yeah. i just find like obviously like, i'm incredibly grateful because it's like it's a mega thing yeah. like but have you ever been bought something you think i cannot believe a random stranger has bought me this well yeah like there's a few and then i remember the first first time someone bought me some lubes and i was oh, like did the <gasps> nice Ooh. i think that's quite because as well like, like for your feet really really nice ones as well still got them <laughs> they're right now they're <laughs> the most uncomfortable shoes i've ever worn i don't think i'll ever buy any anymore <laughs> that I hear I'll go back to Primark <laughs> do you know what I mean no thank you they look good though yeah they look good and then you've got to um, get the red soul in <laughs> yeah love, love a red soul that's the only thing I like about them yeah I, like but I, I would like I think I'd like some just to say I've got some mm. but I can't never. believe I remember that website that's that so my really free yeah. yeah. I, think, I don't know why it's still not there because like then I, I went back on it after a bit and they changed it to just like my free surgery and there's girls getting like BBLs and that and there mm. and then I went back on it because I, I was like, right, I, I want a BBL. <laughs> I was like, trying to get him to pay for that. 
but I think it had like died off. But by that point, I was like doing OnlyFans anyway, because I think yeah. back there, like this was like, bearing in mind I'm 28 now, so this was like 10 years ago, where like an OnlyFans, like obviously weren't a thing then. So I think like now, people can just like buy it themselves with yeah. the only girls who were doing that anyway, like yeah. chatting to guys online can just buy it himself with OnlyFans money mm-hmm. now. Um, so yeah, like free tips. <laughs> um, so I wanted to ask you, do you think, cause I know obviously you don't do like the whole porn, your content is like a different route. Yeah. But still like, if you tell a guy, like I, th- I think girls levels on OnlyFans, like everyone has their own levels, yeah. like, it, like some girls are only topless some girls are just full on like laundry other girls like I'm at that point where I'm just like anything goes <laughs> but that, like I, th- I think when you tell someone like I do OnlyFans they're like oh to what level like they just all assume that you yeah swag, if, I say, if I say I'm an OnlyFans girl they're like and I'm like I don't know when they're like so what do you do yeah like they're so shocked when I said that I'm not doing that. I'm like, you know, the only like the chefs on OnlyFans, there's PTs on there OnlyFans, is. there's girls that go on and just do yoga in the morning. Like, it's not, it's not the platform. Like, the sex industry has used it the most because they're getting the most out of it because everybody buys sex. Yeah. Like, it's a big seller. Not there's a lot less people buying someone doing yoga in the morning. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Then there is sex. That's why it's used so well, and that's why a lot of people use it. But it's actually just a social media platform that, that people have be, turned yeah. into it's, porn. It's basically like, no, but like anybody can use it. Makeup mm. artists can use it. Anybody could use it. So, but in people's brain, as soon as you say OnlyFans, they automatically think sex industry. Yeah. But it can be anything. Mm. Literally anything. I could go out and feed my invisible dogs every day and video it and put it on every day just so you know how the dog <laughs> my invisible dog's doing. And it'll probably get some people on there. <laughs> probably. Now, I might try that. But, <laughs> you know like you can literally put it it's just it's a platform that you can put things on and people set a subscription like your own little netflix yeah like you're making your own little netflix and making money off it basically but it don't have to be porn people just automatically think it yeah it's same with like netflix it's like saying everything on netflix is a horror like yeah. ne- it's diverse like that our no, content depends, diverse. What you watch. depends what you're looking for <laughs> yeah exactly and it's like like say my, my page is more like traditionally like porn than like <laughs> what your page would be more like fetish so my, uh, yeah so mine's like basically I, I think my I think my bio's it's been here a while now um I think my bio says like virtual like I'm a virtual fantasy yeah that's that's what I do I do it all whatever virtual fantasy you've got let me know <laughs> I'll do it but yeah virtual fantasy fetish queen smoking queen that's mm. that's my thing when I joined you on your podcast on Cancel Culture, shout out Cancel Culture. Yes, um, Cancel Culture Birmingham. <laughs> we talked about what gives men the ick on girls. So, mm-hmm. what gives you the ick on men? There's two things um, that I can think of just off the top of my head. Like, teeth. I like teeth. I like nice teeth and I'm a bit of a hypocrite because mine need a little bit of work. Like, I've got a chip and crooked. But I just... I think it does say something if someone's got nice teeth to look after them. I like nice teeth. It turns me, does yeah, it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, the second thing is not sharing food. Like, what do you mean? Why what? would you not want to share your food with me? Uh, someone actually said to me once it puts them, it fully puts them off a girl if they're out eating and the girl's like, oh, can I try what you've got or something mm. like that? And I was like, oh, I always do that. <laughs> like, I don't care what I've, I could order the most amazing thing. If I like look at your stick, I want to be, I want, <laughs> I just want to try it. Do you know what I mean? I'm a tapas girl. I like to buy, I like to get a bit of everything and try everything. Like yeah, if I go out for food, that. I love that. So the fact that you're saying that you'll, order food but then you'd wait let me try a little bit I just want to know what it tastes like I don't want your plate but I would just want to know what it tastes like I think it's very I'd get up and leave it's very inconsiderate not very sure <laughs> but yeah if a guy if I actually said to a guy oh can I try a bit of that and they're like no and they said I no. would be like <laughs> why yeah it's bang out of order to be fair I mean shave <laughs> food yeah I mean? girls gotta eat <laughs> do you know what I mean I want to try girls. it <laughs> hungry girl over here yeah I've, I do agree with that one about 
And, and the teeth as well. Like, we like nice teeth. I'm getting my teeth done in two weeks again. Shout out oh. Dental Design Turkey, who uh, kindly collabing with me. I'm really excited. So I'm going to Antalya in two weeks for some new pegs. I can't <laughs> wait. Um, so yeah, no one will be icking away me for my teeth in two weeks. Um, I think, oh, my- are you is, having? I'm, I'm having curious. crowns. I've got veneers at the minute, so yeah. I'm having crowns. But I'm having all my teeth done rather than, I've only got my, like a few at the bottom. I'm going to get the rest, the rest of them done. I know. Um, yeah, not looking forward to it because it's a bit scary getting your mouth drilled, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's a different kind of drill. You're used to getting drilled, but just not like that. I'm used to getting drilled in a different fashion, so. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um, but I would say my ick personally is guys' fingernails. If they are, oh, if guys have long fingernails, like long, dirty fingernails, I remember, oh my God, I've got this friend, I'm not going to out him, but um, <laughs> he's got a, like a really long nail, like he grows it for a reason. Oh yeah, I know that reason. But he's got this like one little pinky nail and it's so long it and it's yellow and it bends, it's to, it, yeah. yeah, it's to dip basically, but it is, it is, sorry, no offense if you're watching this, but it is rotten, like cut it off. <laughs> Um, that is definitely bleach it, a daily. Dip, bleach it. It's just snap your whole finger off at this point. Like, I don't care. Just get that done. Um, uh, so I would say that is my biggest ick. Nails. Like if boys have like long nails, and if he can see like the dirt, behind. just check his nails. Just saw you like that. Guys watching this, like. <laughs> Oh, but definitely nails i think nah you need to clean your nails like just get one of them scrubby things in the shower takes two minutes like mm. job done file them down job's got in yeah it's a very easy thing to keep up it is and it's high just get as in well. the bath like, do you, no girl wants like if you're gonna be getting fingered you don't want someone who's coming with like stiletto <laughs> sharp nail clean do it behind them like i, I want to keep it clean down there like people pay a lot of money to see this boom i don't want it like i don't want your dirty fingernails <laughs> million dollar it pussy. Off. thank you very much so that's my ick. <laughs> but I've we've got a few more. So I did actually look at these icks earlier. They're not as like extreme icks as I would have thought. But we'll go for a couple of them and see if you think. Say, I'll go. I'm gonna pick some different ones to what I was looking at before <laughs> and just see what you think. I think yeah. a lot of them seem quite tame. I wouldn't necessarily call these icks. They're more just like. Okay, so let's tip. But this well, out yeah, the we'll person s- that said it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, when a guy states on his dating profile that he enjoys cozy nights in, would you say that's an ick? I wouldn't say that. I mean, that's a good thing. I'm like here for it that. It could like. be a fact. <laughs> <laughs> like that's just someone saying what the fuck he like to do. That's what you're supposed to put on dating profiles. What's what, like, wrong with these girls? What are they wanting to do with these women? <laughs> that's fine. Um, oh, I love this. Seeing him wear earmuffs. <laughs> well... I've, I don't think I've ever seen There might be a guy earmuffs. wearing earmuffs in this room right now. <laughs> They're headphones. Well, headphones. it's the same. No, it's covering I mean, your ears. No, but I've never known a man to wear earmuffs. Like, well, maybe because girls are roasting him for having the ear. Where's the from? <laughs> where are they from? Alaska. I don't know. I want like, to actually mind a pair of earmuffs. I notice my ears do get cold. I mean, I won't mind. I need to earmuffs. I like a good earmuff. I like the I'll muff look. band. Oh, my God. I love them. I mean, you click them and I've they go like that. band. <laughs> A muff band. Sean Shut loves her muff band. <laughs> yeah. Um, Black one. When he asks, oh, I, yeah, this one's an ick. If he asks the barman to video him and his friends doing shots, would you say, I'd say maybe, I yeah. I think if I, See if he was out on a date with a guy. Yeah, but we're girls. Are no, like, but we just like, do we it Instagram spring break. <gasps> yeah, we're just like, selfie. But yeah. like, see if you're out on a date with a guy and he's like, oh, I'll get us two shots. And then what if he turns around to the barman and he's like, Oh, we video this, and then he's like, "I don't think it's an ick. I think I'd be like, mm, no, okay, <laughs> <laughs> give me that shot." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't, um, I don't think it's an ick, but just learn how to do it yourself. Yeah, stand it up against your. Pants. Yes, that is the trick I use. Stand it up against the glass and point, yeah, shot, shot. I mean, I think I don't know if any of these are actually proper icks. I mean, shout out to the Insta page. What gives you the ick? This is where I've got these few from, but I do think um, I would like you to come back with some better icks. We'll get people yeah. to send us some better ones in. I think you should, we need to like run up we in need, the comments with yeah. actual icks because these aren't even icks. These yeah. are just These are just people men. living the, 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 the life the and getting life. absolutely so slayed for it. they nights in. They've got loads of videos <laughs> taking shots. Oh my, what was Love the other one? People. When he's eager to board his Ryanair flight. That's, he's just excited about his trip. Like, leave him alone. So like, what, what was that? When he's when eager. He, when, to, what, right, let me find it. It was on this page. When he's eager to board his when, Ryanair flight. Yeah, when he 
he's eager to board the Ryanair wow. flight. So you're, you're mad that the boy's going on a holiday. He's excited about his what trip and you've got the... Him. Shame on you. Gold digger. <laughs> um, right, I'll try. I'll do one more and then we'll move on. Um, watching him lick an envelope. I'd say that turns me on, if anything. Like, <laughs> a bit of tongue action for you there. Yeah, um, but they're videoing him. <laughs> I'd like oh, instant wetness watching him lick that envelope. I'll just give you something else to lick. Depends, depends what it is. Is it a birthday card? <laughs> I've been more, I'm more just intrigued to what, it, what to what's what inside sending. the package. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what env- what envelope are you doing? I only know birthday cards, but if the fact that they've even got a birthday card is amazing. I don't know any man that buy them. True, like men are not good at remembering cards on occasions. Just don't know. So, it. boyfriend, no, if you're the boyfriend him. and you've got an event coming up, your girlfriend will notice if you don't get her a card. So like, just get her a card. <laughs> most men are like, I'm not buying a card. And just because oh, it's been. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> so I just think, oh my God, it's a card. Isn't it? And, it's and then they're so- licking it. <laughs> <laughs> I think a card as well is such a little thing that like, is, it has such a mm, it's like the I'm text. getting a bit soft here. It's like the text like, in it when you feel, when you know when they know you're feeling shit and you get that like, are you okay? Are you yeah. feeling down? Okay, All right, babe. then you haven't done it. Like, oh, yeah, but I know you've texted it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough about that. But yeah, if I'd love some more ics, actual ics, so comment below if you've got any ics mm-hmm. um, that you think would be good for us to talk about next time. So in like kind of on the topic of it what would you say is more of like a turn off is there anything that like you think oh like so there's ick i think you can like get past an ick mm-hmm. like you can get past him being excited about his trip and you can yeah. do other things but what of like what is like a no-go like mm, for me personally i can't have them being too nice i don't want a people pleaser because yeah, i fact. need like i'm quite straightforward and i've been known or being called emotionless in a lot of different situations. So if I've got someone that's a people pleaser, they're not going to tell me what I need to hear when yeah. I need to hear it. So like they're not I'm just going to be nice to you all the time. Like no, I need I need putting in my place. I need like I don't want one of the people that's just like Mm-mm, and they just take shit from other people because I it will get me angry, me yeah. anxious, and then I'll be anxious because I think if I know I've been a dick and you're not telling me that I've been a dick. Yeah. Like, the, I'll feel anxious because then when I come around, I'm like, fuck. And then you're like, no, it's all right. No, it's not. Yeah, it's good sometimes to like, have someone to just like, put you in your place. Yeah. A bit. I think because like, because me and you are both very like, chatty girl I think sometimes like if you're anything like me I can, my mouth can yeah, run away and then I have to have someone to be like come back shut up <laughs> <laughs> shut your trap <laughs> um, yeah you need somebody to be like so, and someone that can give you a look and you're like okay shut my mouth <laughs> shut my mouth I said too much or like I, I like a bit of arrogance yeah. do you know what I mean a bit I, of a bad boy a bit cocky like, yeah I just need that cockiness in my life like if, yeah. the, if they haven't got that kind of cockiness or like the I don't want to say aggressive. That's too far. No, not ag- not different. aggressive. There's a line. Yeah, though, just, there's a, a just, a, just a little bit of arrogance, a little bit of cockiness. But no, I mean, don't use it in the wrong way because I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I went. Um. Yeah. No. I'd, yeah. Not no one that's too nice. It's nice to be nice, but there's a there's a difference between being a people pleaser and telling me what I need to hear constantly. Yeah. Because uh, that's not making me into a better person. No. Yeah. Fact. Tell so. me what you really think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we obviously both do OnlyFans and if, so if you're a girl doing OnlyFans, then your main audience is obviously guys. If you are a guy that does OnlyFans, cause we both said that like, we get like a lot of guys that message us looking for help. Like if like to start, cause I think it is becoming a mo- more common now for guys to be starting an OnlyFans yeah. than girl, like obviously the, it's mainly good there, there is a lot of guys bang. guys are smashing it i know some guys that are killing yeah, it on they are our... literally making bank right now it's like the the like gay audience yeah. and the men now are really coming up on sites like that like good yeah. on you yeah fair play mm. like that's like what i was gonna say so like i think some guys kind of join this industry and they like think that it's going to be other women that are subscribed to him. But like the reality is if you're a male content creator, your target audience is gay men Mm -hmm. because they're like, I don't, it's not like I'm obviously women do subscribe to, to pay us, but it's not really like a a main thing. Like it's, it is meant, meant to be men. 
But like, obviously these guys that are doing OnlyFans are going to be doing content with guys. So, bomb fun. <laughs> Gay for pay. <laughs> but what do you think? So, being a content creator yourself, would you like, say, if, imagine like you've met a guy, you really like him. He's like, oh, by the way, I do OnlyFans and I'm doing this. Like, I'm getting shagged up my ass. Like, what would you think? Are you still going to stay with him? Or are you going to be you like, too I've been, much? <laughs> I've been thinking about this, right? And... I'm a really good photographer. <laughs> like Unreal I would be like, like <laughs> bend over, boys, like, spread your cheeks. I think I'd be really. I'd be like, woo, go on. getting them angles. In. Yeah, I just think because I'm used to it now, and I don't I'd like if they're straight. Then do you know what I yeah. mean? As long as the, as long as there's agreements and boundaries or whatever in place, I feel like it'd be like that in any relationship on both sides. Um, but yeah, just do you if that's what you're doing. If I met someone doing that, yeah then I met him doing it. If I don't like it, then that's my problem. Yeah. I need to just check myself and leave. The, it's but like, they shouldn't change, like, whatever they're doing. And the way I feel about it, I feel like, like, we know ourselves, your, any job, a lot of people don't enjoy the job. Obviously, yeah. they, they've got the choice to do it, but no one enjoys going and doing a 12-hour shift in a warehouse no, not. for <laughs> just of a minimum wage. Like, no one enjoys doing that. So... Like, you can't say, it's not like he's there absolutely loving it. Like, even if it might look like he is. You, know what <laughs> you never mean? know. You never know. It might be. It might say he's not loving it, but deep mm, down. Yeah, well, we all know where the spot is. But, <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? It's a fucking job. Like, yeah. people put it down so much. And it's like, do you enjoy going to your work? Or, or they'll go, How, why, why do you do stuff if, you, if you're not really, if you don't really want to? Why the fuck do you go to work? Why does anyone go to work yeah. ever? Like, surely everyone yeah. just wants I, to get paid I, for free. I enjoy my job. Do you enjoy yours? <laughs> yeah, I love my job. I think it's a yeah. fantastic job. I actually, like, we stay within those boundaries. We're having a lovely time. I think yeah. for males, it's the same. But I feel like they get stick for doing certain things. Like, just let them live. I know. And let, them, let them have a bit of cock. It's, you know? <laughs> and it, like, as well, people never really like it's never like from the opposite side because like obviously i am straight i am cock hungry like that i that is it for me i personally find i find girls attractive but like the thought of me like licking a vagina is not an appealing thought even though i looking at my only fans you would think differently but <laughs> it is yeah i'm i am um, straight i loved it so i like but mo so looking at my page it is like because I've not been doing boy girl content for that long. I've actually been doing OnlyFans for like bare time. I'm like an OnlyFans fossil. But I was only like, I've only started doing boy girl stuff. So my, most of my content is lesbian and yeah. stuff. It's but like, easier to do content like that. It is. And I think for girls, girls as well, like guys, like every, every guy who I've ever like been with since I've been doing OnlyFans and I've like been like, look, this is what I do. Is it a problem? It's always been the same thing. Like, oh, it's fine for you to go with girls, yeah. but I don't, which is fair enough. But like, I think when men think of like, they're like, oh yeah, I want to see two girls fucking. But then when it's like, oh, it's two men, they're like, oh, it's, like, it's the exact same thing. It's just for a guy. I think it's only, it's got one audience. Like gay porn has only got the gay mm. audience. Whereas I feel like other porn, everybody watches it. Yeah, like everyone's mm. got their own yeah. little. Have you got any turn oh. on, Sam? What gets the, what gets the, what gets <laughs> you going? Say, where's this going? YouTube, I don't think you can say mine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Let's do rough. Okay. <laughs> just like yeah. gem general, general <laughs> normal ones. Normal yeah, ones. <laughs> I know what you mean. I like a bit of rough and tumble myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we will leave it at that. Um, so thank you very much for coming on today, Sean. It's been amazing having you on. Thank you so much. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. And let us know in the comments any icks that you can think of for the next time that we do an it yeah. show because we need some bags. We need some yeah. actual We need icks. to redo it with yeah, some we'll actual do it again. icks. 100%. So yeah, thanks for watching, listening, or however you've consumed the show. <laughs> and all the best, maybe. <laughs> Sean, what are you doing at your next I'm one? Just, do you know? Oh, okay, next the one, next you know. one I'm, is going to be about the strip club. Strip clubs. Mm. I want to talk about like the some of the stuff that goes so on in there because it, oh, it's <laughs> an, that's another can of worms that you, like people think what the actual stuff happens in a club. It's like, yeah. So Ooh, you don't want to miss that one either, guys. Geez. Make sure you're listening because that's going to be a juicy one as well. But yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha